So here we are out at the Hobkirks. Nice uh, October morning. Nos busy quartering. Good boy. A man and his dog. Okay, let's go. That bird was hanging out right in the cedars here. Yep. Yep. You never know where you might find them. Well, one flush so far. Good dog. You can see 35, 40 meters here to pick a shot. A little tighter on this side, maybe 30. But still, you can see quite a distance. What borders us on that side is the pines. And further down over there is a swamp. So Jeff, good luck. He recovers the grouse that I shot this yes, morning. Yes, excellent. I thought I'd missed. Well, that's the, yeah, having a dog makes a big difference. Good dog, Nos. Good boy. Found, good boy. retrieved a grouse for us. He went on point right there. Yeah, and pointed dead and picked up the dead grouse. Good boy. That's a good dog. What a good boy. What a good boy. Yeah. Yep trying to minimize the harm to the tree in the process. All these lower branches are dead. Yeah, so they're... I'm not sure I trust them with my weight. No, I'm going to put the pegs in. That's a dead branch. Yeah. So this is a an elderly popple, I guess it's coming to the end of its days. Yeah, it's still alive up there, but down here, like, I just broke that off with my hand. Okay. Noss has found a nice dead limb to munch on. That's not bad. I, I can get up a couple. So in go the pegs. Come on over here, Jeff, and I'll get you to hold pegs while I... Show us the pegs. Yeah, they got to be screwed in. Lots of fun. Yeah, isn't it, though? Hunting's easy. <laughs> Although I am quite impressed with Nos recovering that grouse yes. that I shot this morning. We had no idea. Come in here to put in a tree stand and Nos goes on a dead point and picks up a grouse. Well, here we are at the end of a productive day of scouting, hunting, putting up deer stands. It's quite the day. <laughs> Hunting's <laughs> easy. Oh yeah, isn't it though? <laughs> Nos here you see is holding the catch of the day, a nice rough grouse that Jason uh, bag this morning. It's actually the first bird I've ever shot with a 20 gauge. <laughs> um, Nos actually came through the cedars this morning when the bird went. Uh, he didn't actually point it but I had a quick snap shot at it and it disappeared so we had thought I'd missed and we'd looked for it for a little while. Yes. Uh, we came back in here uh, later in the afternoon in order to put up a deer stand and uh, Nos went on point and uh, I said oh he's on point. And then he jumped forward and he picked up the grouse. Yeah. So we were both surprised. Oh and he did his job. He recovered the game. So yeah. no loss of game. Yep, it's all good. Oh yes, in the morning, uh, well, just as the edge of uh, the cover, Jason stepped on a brush pile and... Uh, Missed spectacularly <laughs> on, a, on a hair. So while he was busy following that up and I was just standing watching idly, a woodcock, a migrating woodcock, decided to drop in on top of me. So, and then flew straight away up the trail, and of course, uh, completely overcome with buck fever, I managed to miss with both barrels quite spectacularly. And, uh, but that's, yeah, it's not often, this is, yeah, where I, I, I start to miss Juno again. Yep. Uh, that I get a, a crack at a woodcock without a dog, so at least I got one shot away at a woodcock this season, I can say, and yeah, and despite not having Juno at my side, so... 
it's been a good day. Yep, looking forward to being out with the bows. Yeah, next weekend. <laughs> It'll be great. <laughs> All right, till next time. See I'm you Jeffrey. guys. I'm Jason. And Noss. With the bird. Right. Bye See now. you guys.